Well, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Stock and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Today, I'm talking to you about crypto. We have Ethereum finally break, taking off, breaking up above that 3,400, solidly above the 3,400 line. So we can say that resistance is finally broken and I actually had a video about the resistance being broken. Let me see. It would be, up. Oh, I'm getting better at this. Up here on this side, I'll have that link for you ready to go. So you can go ahead and check that out. So I want to talk about Ethereum today, what made it move and what finally took that technical flag pattern that we had, that bullish flag, and finally allowed us to uh, to break up out of that. So we have uh, some really good movement going on. And I also want to talk about where I see it going in the future and what it's going to take for it to move going on from here right now at its current position and what it's going to take us in order to break that $4,000 mark, because that is going to be one heck of a hard line of resistance, in my opinion. And, uh, and I think I'm pretty right about that. So uh, stick around and let's get ready to rock. All right, welcome back. I got my magic pen in my hand. I want to shake it out of the camera. Magic things happen like stock prices go up, crypto goes up, and uh, and all the bears happen to just cower in fear. And uh, and I'm pretty sure that that's scientifically proven somewhere. Maybe even Warren Buffett knows it, or maybe I'm just making all that up. In any case, back to the serious stuff. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe <laughs> subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see any time that my videos come out. Also, if you want to check out my Patreon and see what else I have to offer, my weekly newsletter, my weekly watch list of stocks, join my private Discord. I got fabulous people over there. They're absolutely wonderful, supportive, and uh, and eager people, always looking for the next opportunity. And uh, and I'm right there to help them out. So it's a it's an awesome group. I really enjoy it, and uh, I'm looking forward to building it. And if you think that you'd be uh, able to add and contribute to that group, I'd love to have you over there. That link is down in the description. Also. Down in the description, Moo Moo, Weeble, check out those referral links, sign up, deposit, get your free stocks. It also gives me some free stocks, just a nice way that we both benefit, that you get your free stocks, I get my free stocks, and uh, and so we're both supporting each other either way. So thank you very much. Let's move right on to the cryptos. So right here, we have the list on coin market cap of the top cryptos by market cap. Words are hard today, holy cow. So we got Bitcoin, of course, at number one. We have Ethereum coming in at number two, and it's up almost 9% right now. It's up almost 15% for the past seven days. And you can see its market cap is closing in on half of what Bitcoin's market cap is. I think that over the next several years, we're gonna see this market cap from Ethereum overtake what we have for Bitcoin. And uh, I absolutely would love to watch that battle play out. And I'm gonna watch that battle play out. Ethereum is my favorite of all the cryptos in the crypto space. It's my main holding that I have in my crypto portfolio. I do like Cardano as well. They'll make a small mention of that. And then also Solana, I think it's only a matter of time. It's a meager, like just over 4 billion, I guess close to 5 billion away from where Dogecoin is at. And I think Solana is a, a serious contender in uh, the, the DeFi space, for example, especially because of just the pure transactions per second that it can put out. It just doesn't have the same ecosystem that Ethereum has built around it. So Ethereum has the, the, the decentralization, it has the security, uh, it has the development team surrounding it. There's a lot of money, especially the, the total value locked by Ethereum just dwarfs anything that any other uh, DeFi crypto has out there. So uh, just incredible things for Ethereum. Over here, I have the chart for you for Ethereum and you can see the recent price action that we've had over this past day. Let me click on the trading view and you'll see the candle chart come up here and you'll see the sort of run that it has. And I put out a video talking about the cryptos that resistance will break soon. We saw Solana's resistance break first. We saw Ethereum take over now and possibly that could even lead into a Bitcoin run sometime soon. So because Bitcoin's still been hanging out under 50,000, this could be one of those things that helps push it on to 50,000 as we continue to, great, to gain strength in the crypto space. I don't believe that the bull run is over. Now about this most recent price action that we see, it mimics this little leg of the flag that we have right here. It would have been incredible to see this entire flagpole right here be, the, be a symmetric to what we see in growth over here. And that might play out over time. I think it is gonna take us a little while longer to hit that $4,000 mark. I think that's gonna be a pretty significant area of resistance that we actually wanna see some sort of real 
progress for ETH 2.0 coming out before that happens. So when I think happens, if we do get up to 4,000 or close to 4,000, before we get any news about proof of stake, I think we're going to fail to break that resistance. I think it'll pull back and I think that will settle for a little while until we get the announcement that uh, proof of stake for ETH 2.0 is live on the test net. And once that's live on the test net and we see how that's performing, I think that's going to be the first small catalyst that we have that puts us solidly close to $4,000 per ETH token. And then from there, as that goes live on the main net and we start to see that proof of stake play out and we start to get announcements out sharding, I think that's what's going to put us up over that 4,000 solidly to put us between 4,000 and 4,500 per token. And so I think that we'll see that, that range from 4,000 to 4,500 per ether uh, in early 2022 into the first half of 2022. So uh, early is my first guess. And I would say as long as up to that first six months of 2022. So by June 30th of 2022, we should most definitely be within that range, but this is a significant climb from where we're at right now. That's at least uh, a 20% upside from where we currently reside up to about that $4,500 level. We're just going to have to watch that play out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think there's just a lot of development. There's a lot of excitement. And I think that Ethereum is going to continue to print and we're going to be able to continue to make bank off it for those of us who are already invested in this space. It's one that I have a position in. It's my opinion that uh, this is one that has serious staying power and that it's going to continue to dominate in the crypto space for years to come. So what has moved it today? Well, I have this for you. Let me scroll up. There we go. DeFi tokens, Aave, Uniswap rallies, Ethereum scaling solution, Arbitrum launches. So Arbitrum 1 has launched and because that has launched uh, as of yesterday, um, that adding in a huge way, adding a lot of opportunities that we have a lot more development to the Ethereum space to that Ethereum uh, Ethereum network. There's the N. So adding to that Ethereum network and also offering a layer two scaling solution in the DeFi space like Arbitrum One does, I think that we're going to see a lot of a lot more total value locked. We're going to see a lot more price action coming through there and a lot more availability in that DeFi space. So um so this this is actually pretty big news and that's why we get this most recent pump that we have and that's why the technical pattern that we have in the chart played out as beautifully as it did. So moving on from there, this being a layer two solution, it does run as a side chain to the Ethereum network. And uh, it takes about a week for withdrawals to settle. And that's because it uses optimistic rollups. And so for opt optimistic rollups, what it does is it assumes when, it, when you do your transactions, it assumes that you are playing fair game, that you're not trying to cheat the system or do any hacking or anything like that. And it gives time that if anybody should happen to put any of those transactions into question, that it can go through the consensus mechanisms that are present on the server before it actually, it, it'll either say, nope, this is invalid and it resets things, or it does put it through as valid and then it just continues on there as it were. So uh, with, with optimistic rollups, that's just something that's one of the natures of the beast right now. And there is that wait time for that withdrawal clearing, they say about a week for Arbitrum 1. Moving on from there, the roll up part of it, just in case you're not familiar, is that it takes a lot of transactions on Arbitrum, rolls them up into a single transaction on the Ethereum mainnet. And by doing that, it can significantly lower the transaction fees, the gas fees. So you actually get to do transactions in the DeFi space through Arbitrum 1 while you leveraging Ethereum's security for less money that's why it's such a winner and one of the reasons why people are so excited about this and i keep on shaking my magic pen and uh, we'll watch that price for, uh, of ethereum climb and then there's other there's other crypto tokens um in the crypto space that have uh and that's what this one is about is talking about some of those others um that have rallied in light of that new information and ethereum certainly being uh the enabler of all of this uh benefits as well so i do want to show you just this over here uh for solana so Solana has a huge amounts of transactions per second. I believe they boast of like 50,000 transactions per second uh, that they're capable of and uh, maybe even up to 100,000 transactions per second, but they're waiting for the hardware in order to be able to handle that sort of TPS. But I'm saying the network already can through their proof of history consensus mechanism that they have. So you, we can see the run that they've had uh, recently, and there's a lot of volume support to the type of movement that they've had. We are starting to see a little bit more of that volume tapering at $115 per token. And this, I think it really just needs that sort of time and development behind it. And I think it will also have, you know, a good place alongside Ethereum. I'm not gonna call it an Ethereum killer. I'm gonna call it an Ethereum competitor. 
And that could be one of those mitigating factors that we have over the long term with that sort of market competition that could slow down Ethereum's rise. But really, I think that Ethereum will continue to dominate. And uh, especially as those if ETH2 comes out, we continue to see further development to lower gas fees and also to alleviate network congestion on Ethereum. It's just going to uh, become faster and faster, more scalable. And um, it should mitigate also some of that need for something, you know, in the way of Solana that uh, eventually they might, you know, they might be a little bit more compatible. There's more and more bridges for across the crypto space being made all of the time. Uh, and, uh, you know, as that technology builds out, we're going to know more over time. And so Solana, definitely one to pay attention to. Ethereum, still my number one by far. So let me go back to the chart on Ethereum because I just want to reiterate. So we had previous high over here. If I go to this high candle that we had before the sell off, the high price was 43.72. And right now we're at about 3,700. So that would be, what, less than 20% from where we're at. I can say 15 to 20%. I'll give that range up to the top of the highest price that Ether has ever been. And I think that we will overtake that high. But I think it's going to take us, uh, let me see, we're just ended August. We have four months plus six more. So about the next 10 months uh, until we start to see overtaking that high. And I could be wrong by a lot. That could happen much sooner. I'm just giving the end of that window when I think that uh, would be the latest that we'd possibly see that. So I'm going to continue to watch this. I'm going to tend to uh, also track Solana, see how that one's doing. That one has a lot of room to move up by market cap. And Ethereum uh, has already seen a lot of expansion, and now it's more of that maturity and taking care of that uh, that proof of work consensus algorithm that it currently uses, switching to proof of stake and being much more energy efficient, lowering the barrier to having more people being able to run uh lowering the barrier for people to actually be able to stake their crypto with pretty much entry level technology no no specialized hardware required just a computer heck uh, I, i've even read even maybe a smartphone in order to uh, just keep that going and uh you know be on that network as a staker in order to to operate and do that proof of stake that we have for those cryptos moving forward and getting rid of proof of work gets rid of a lot of selling pressure on ether that's currently uh, holding some of the price back. And so when proof of stake hits, we're no longer getting that sort of selling pressure. All right. So let me summarize. Ethereum, my favorite crypto in the entire space, currently run up over $3,700 per Ether token. And I think that it's one that over time is really going to shine out at 4000 I think it's going to be very hard resistance to break. And I think it's going to take some big news in order to really break and get cleanly over 4000 and turn it into a line of support. I think it's going to take proof of stake on the test net to see that happen, uh, possibly even proof of stake being released on the main net in order to make that happen. And then as sharding gets rolled out and seeing that hit the, the, the test net and then eventually the main net, those are also going to be catalysts for Ethereum moving forward. And don't forget that proof of stake really does alleviate a lot of the selling pressure from the miners that currently do the proof of work algorithm because they got to pay the bills somehow. So the rewards that they get through mining get dumped back on the market. So that way they can keep on doing the mining and not get behind on the finances. So thank you guys for watching this. I really appreciate it. I hope that you like what I had to say. And, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments your own stances on Ethereum. You can tell me what your favorite cryptos are. If there's one that I should be paying attention to that I haven't uh, brought to light or maybe I haven't even looked at yet because the DeFi space, the crypto space is... It's just enormous. And so I certainly haven't followed every one of them. I do like to follow the big ones. Ethereum is the best looking going forward from here, in my opinion. So thank you guys for stopping by. Check out that Patreon if you want to talk more with me and see more of the things that I have to offer. See the stuff that I'm buying and selling. I have my portfolios over there. Uh, also my weekly newsletter, weekly watches to stocks. And uh, like I said, great people in the Discord. Um, so absolutely love to see over there, especially if you too are a great person that has a lot to contribute. So uh, also don't forget about Weeble and Moomoo, get your referrals. They're also awesome. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends. I'm Dr. Stock. Thanks for rocking with me. Now go get that money.